Hi everyone, so this is the next part of the percent poem that we started working on on Friday and we used the Google Slides to start brainstorming. So actually we have this handout in our future schoolwork um, Ziploc bag, if you remember that Ziploc bag. This handout is actually in there so I want you to pull that out and we're going to transfer our work here. So you'll see on this first page, you don't have to fill in the first page because this is the character poem. So this was my example, which was on Curious George. And you'll notice here that in the example in the Google Slides, I had already filled out the characteristics and then the percents, but then we did not do this part yet. And this part is really just taking these two ideas and then rewriting them over here. Now when I rewrote it over here into the poem area, you'll see that I just put the 10% hyper, I just put the 10% in front of hyper, okay? And then I rewrote it all and I did go and I made sure, sometimes doing it on paper will help, I made sure that it added up to 100%. I like, I added it up one more time just to make sure. And so I went ahead and I rewrote the poem here and then you need to add two lines at the end that say something about 100% me and to make it rhyme. So I added these two lines and feel free to use my lines if you want to or you can make something up yourself. It all adds up entirely to what makes up 100% me. Another example that I've used in the past for those two lines on the bottom is I'm a wonderful person, as you can see. It's just got to be 100% me. So you'll see, again, I still use the 100% me at the end, and I made it rhyme. But, you know, I kind of changed it up. So there's two different examples. You can use one of those if you like, or you can make something else up. But somewhere in your poem, you need to say something about 100% me. All right, so again, this is the front page. You don't have to do this page because I already did it for you. This is the example, Curious George. On the next page, what you're going to do, it's on the back, is you're going to fill out yours. So this is where you would write your name, and then you're going to take that information so you can go back into the Google Slides and look at what you did. It should be in your drive. It should be in the assignment that you turned in and attached and just open it up and then rewrite everything. So you can write down the eight to 10 characteristics here, you can write down the percents, and then again, you're just going to start writing it like this, putting the percent in front of your characteristic, write it all out, and then you add your two lines to the bottom. And then you have your poem. It's a very, very simple poem. It's more about math. Okay. So the next part, you, you have the last page. And the last page actually looks like this. It's just a circle. You'll just see an outline of a circle. So on yours, you'll just see something that looks like this, an outline of a circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a ruler. So you need a ruler and a pencil. And, and you're going to start... Um, outlining your pie chart. So this is a pie chart which is going to end up equaling a hundred percent. Okay, so the first thing I did because I had a big chunk for 40 percent and I had another 10 percent, I thought it was easy enough to just go right down the middle and just draw a line right down the middle. So I could do that here with a blank one and I could say okay I'm just gonna like break this in half. This was probably what took me the longest amount of time, was just trying to figure out how to break up my pie chart. So if I had something that was 50%, that would be easy. Or maybe I have, you know, a 25%. So I could go over here and I could draw another line and I can have 25%. And then you'll see like, oh, I didn't quite do that so well, but that's okay. You're just going to write in there 25% and you're going to write the um, characteristic with it. So it's really about trying to figure out, you know, if I had 10%, so if I had 10%, I wouldn't want to say that this is 10%. 10% really should be a smaller piece of the pie. 
So like I said, and then 5% should be smaller than 10%. So that what, that's what might take you a little bit of time. So use a pencil with a good eraser, draw lightly. Um, I had to erase a lot to try to get this all put together. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do, once you get all the lines drawn, is you're going to want to outline them. So I just took the markers, um, which is kind of thick, but I just kind of made those lines with the markers. And then I used pencil, I wrote everything out. I wrote all of my characteristics with their persons out in pencil first, make sure I have everything spelled correctly. And then I started to design and decorate with pencil. Um, I mean, I kind of did, like once I got to like these squiggly lines and things, I just started using my crayons and markers. Um, but if you're gonna get, you know, have more intricate designs, you probably want to do that in pencil. Um, so here's the thing. We want it to look decorated and designed. Um, I did outline all of my words with ultra fine Sharpies. So that's done in ultra fine Sharpies. And I am asking, we're asking that you have at least three symbols to represent um, your characteristics. So I have one for curious, two, I mean it's a word, but it's still something that's symbolizing mischievous, two, I have bananas, three, and then my next one was, I mean they're words, but still again trying to, trying to signify being hyper boing, 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 like I thought of Tigger. So I didn't want to draw a Tigger, um, but those were my symbols. So at least three, I drew four. You can use a symbol in every single one if you would like to. Um, you just don't want it to look too busy and you want it to fit, but you have to do at least three. Okay, when you're done, you're gonna cut it out, like I've done here, and then you're going to have yours. Remember, mine is in Phil Doc, because I just took Curious George, but yours will be here. And then you are going to go and make a flip grid. And in the flip grid side, I, I put a link in the assignment. I've done an example for you. I did Curious George. Um, and you'll see what I'm expecting. So um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Have fun.